happy Easter, happy Easter weekend. I um, hope everyone is is safe and well. So I'll just give everyone a minute to uh, to join up. Oh great! Oh yeah, love seeing everyone saying hello. Okay, so it's my first live, so bear with me. If there's any um, technical issues or you can't see anything, just let me know in the comments, and I'll try and fix that. Um, so I'll actually just show you what we're going to draw. We're going to draw the we're going to draw an Easter chick. We'll draw that one first because it's slightly easier, and then we're going to draw the Easter bunny. So I just thought it might be nice to do some see some Easter art. Maybe you could make some Easter Easter cards, or even just do an Easter picture and stick them up in the windows. Um, send some photographs to your grannies and granddads or things like that. So I'm actually going to switch the camera view so you can see. So if anyone's having trouble not seeing the page, just let me know in the comments and I'll try and fix it. So here we go. Do you think that's just now? Okay. So if everyone has their pencils and paper ready, Okay, so I'm gonna, I was just saying before, I'm gonna do the Easter chick first, okay? So the first thing you're gonna do in the middle of your page is just do an Easter egg shape. Now I usually draw quite lightly initially just to get a feel of the shape. And then when I'm getting a feel that the shape is coming together, I just go a little bit darker with the pencil and becomes more defined. Okay. So it's the Easter egg shape. Okay, I'll move that up in case you can't see it in the comments. Okay, so then what we're doing is, if you come about two thirds of the way down and do diagonal like a broken shell, so things don't break perfectly, so just do it whatever way you like until the edge. The broken parts here. Now, the next part is the chick's head, okay? So you're gonna do, again, I just do it lightly to get the shape. Okay, I'll just give everyone a chance. I'll actually just move slowly with each step to give everyone a chance to catch up. So, that's the chick's head here. Now, don't worry about any messy lines, I just clean them up afterwards. Um, so, on top of the chick's head here, I'm gonna have as if he's broken out of the shell, so it's like nearly a little cap. So I'll bring around the edge, and then more cracked lines. I'll just give everyone a second. Now, I usually define the lines that I've drawn. I'll have these coming out over a bit here. Okay. Then I'm going to do the Easter chick's eyes. So I just do simple eyes. Just do little ovals. Here. Okay. And then for... The chick's mouth, I just do a diamond right in the middle. So a diamond right there. And just a little line in the middle, but not joining, just a little bit there. Okay. Then I'll do his, you can just see a little bit of his body because he's in the shell, but we'll just do a little bit here. And then it's a bit of the cracks that are open that you will be able to see the chick's body. Just do some wings here. So there's the little ones in there, like leaf shapes. And then this way. Now because it's Easter as well, um, you can decorate it whatever way you want, but we're just going to have a bit of a fancy egg. I'm just doing um, some polka dots. Just to make it more colourful. Nice and colourful if you're making your Easter card. Do some up here. So even though I'm not doing a background, whenever even I'm just drawing um, 
one cartoon figure I just uh, like to do and draw the floor just to give it somewhere to be and then I do a little just like a squid eyes front but it kind of just shows that it's a bit of a shadow makes it a bit 3D okay so then I'll just clean up some lines here the X one there so then you have your Easter check drawn okay so um I'm going to use just some watercolor paints to to color my um Easter chicken, but any colors will work. So crayons or coloring pencils or any kind of different paints, but I'm just going to use some watercolors. But if you're using watercolors, um, you just, the tiniest that will do, like that's only the tiniest to use, and I use water to, to spread it out. Okay, so I'm just going to do, I'll, um, I'm sure people can want to take their time with the coloring afterwards, but I'll just do mine quickly in now. So I'll color in yellow. And then I'll do a nice pastel -y, turquoise egg. Nice to have the pastel spring colours. Do I see all the comments coming in? Also, um, when you have your pictures done, I'd love to see some. If so if you got, um, if you take a picture and send them in, I'd love to see them. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to work on is is the shading. So I usually imagine that there is, the sun is coming from a certain direction. So I'm going to imagine the sun is coming from this way. So if the sun is coming this way, then I will shade everything to the opposite side of that. So I'll just get some paint. I usually use um, use a light grey first of all. So because I'm imagining the light's coming that way, I'm going from this angle. So anywhere I have lines, the opposite angle of where I think the light is coming in from, I'll do a little bit of, of grey paint. So I've done the shell shading now, now I'll just shade even the side of the chick's face. Okay, and then I'll actually just make my grey paint a little bit darker and do the edges even more just to, to define the shadow even a little bit more. What's nice about watercolor paints is they blend into each other. So you can blend in with, with crayons or colors as well or even just shading with a pencil. Sometimes pencils can be good for, for creating shadows. So I'll do this peak as well. And then as well from the shadow that I sketched earlier on the floor, just create the ground and just do a shadow coming out the front. And I'll colour in the dots. I'm sure the nicer decorated eggs than mine, but this is just quickly. And the, the next thing I am um, have to do is put the cheeks. I like putting just some red cheeks just here and here. Let that dry in. And then I just get some 
dark black paint. So if you have a dark black crayon, and I just define the eyes a little. Great. So there you go. That's the Easter trick. So I'm going to, I'll leave that somewhere to dry. Okay. And I'm sure you'll be spending more, you'll be spending more time than I do on colouring it. So um, the next thing is, I think we'll um, move on to the Easter Bunny. So I'm just, give me one sec, I'm just going to define where I know the camera can see. So I'm not drawing anything that's outside the camera. enjoyed trying the Easter chick. Now I'll do the Easter bunny, but he's really easy to draw as well. But I'm going to start the same way again. So I'm just going to start drawing because the Easter bunny I'm drawing is holding a large Easter egg. So I'm going to start again just really lightly with my pencil to get the shape of the Easter egg. And then when I feel it taking shape, I can just define it a little bit more and go a little bit darker. So, there you go. So when I do the lines light initially, you can't see any of the messy lines. Okay. So let's see you straight again. Okay. So this time I'm doing the Easter Bunny but he's kind of peeking out behind the Easter egg, okay? So I'm going to still do the full circle. Sorry, I'm just going to move that over slightly. Okay, you can, uh, I'm still going to do the full circle of the Easter Bunny's head, but I'll just do it really lightly and then I'm just going to clean it up afterwards because it's easier to draw a full circle. Okay, so the He's really poking out. So he's going diagonally, so I'll do a really light line out this way, because it just means, I'll just rotate that other line here. It just means I know which way, which direction I can put the ears. So the ears are basically like just doing two long leafs, leaf shapes. So it's like, sorry, move that over. And over here. And join to the top of the head. So I'm going, I can rub out this area of the head because it's covered by the egg. It just means I can better get the shape of the bunny. Okay, so because I still have that light line and I have the ears going this direction, it, it allows me to place the eyes better. So I come down from each ear, and again, it's just an oval dot. And I come down from the other ear, just means that they're in the right position, okay? And then a little bit lower down, and then the eyes, but still on the line because it's the middle of the bunny face. I can do a little triangle of a nose there. And inside the ear, actually, I'm gonna do two smaller, smaller leaf shapes. They're basically the same shape as the ear we've just drawn, but it's just two smaller leaf shapes. So I'll just define these lines and give people a chance to make sure they've every step done. So if I draw over them lightly initially, then I go back over them to find them a little bit more. Okay, so the next thing I have to do is I will have two little the two of the bunny's little paws holding onto the Easter egg. So I'll come to the side of his face here, so it's between his um, his cheek and the Easter egg, and I'll draw a line from that corner here and bring it round in a circle like that. I won't join it up again, but I will. Then I will rub out the bit of the egg that the hand should be covering, so it's like he's holding the egg, and I'll do the same 
just up from here. So I bring it from that corner where the cheek meets the egg, bring it around in a circle and cover it again. And then if you have a bit of a line you want to tidy up, you can do that there. Okay, so the next thing is we might do a bit of the bunny's body coming around to the side. So we can see a little bit so it's like his body here. And then I will just do two semicircles for the bunny's feet. Well, I'll just do one and then a slight bit of another one because it's covered by the egg. And then again, like the chick, even, even though I'm doing no background, I still like to have a little bit of like the floor where he's standing. Just to give him a place to stand. And then again, I'll just do, just like a squiggly line out from one side, because it gives him a bit of a shadow. I'll do it in my paint later. It just makes them a little bit more 3D. Okay, so you're basically done now. The next thing is just this Easter egg, I'm going to do um, just stripes. But instead of just doing straight lines across, kind of if you, I find it helps if I imagine that I'm drawing around the egg. So it's kind of curved lines. Because it just creates a feel of more of a 3D egg. I just, I just see a comment there. Will this be available afterwards? So um, I'll, we'll be uploading the video to YouTube um, after this, and I will post the link so everyone can find it. So even if anyone's missed it or if they're tuning in a little bit later, or if they missed trying the chick, that will the whole video will be on YouTube. Great. So that's literally all the bunny. So easy. So the next thing I'm going to do is going to paint the bunny so whatever colours you're using. Okay, so I think I will draw the Easter bunny. I'll paint him, sorry. In a blue colour. Okay. So again, as I was saying, with watercolour, you just need a tiniest bit of paint and it, with the water. And it's, you can get so much use out of it. So I'm just using some light pastel colours. It's... Nice springish colours. I'll do this quickly. You'll be able to spend more time colouring your lovely pictures for your cards or, or for putting up in the windows or around your house. So I'll colour him all blue. And I might just make the blue that I'm using for the egg a little bit stronger. So use a little bit more paint. a little bit of turquoise in here. And as I was saying earlier, I'd love to see the pictures that you're drawing and what way you've decorated your eggs because I'm sure they're lovely and a lot more fancy than this one. Okay. So the next thing before I do the shading, I'm just going to put the some cheeks on the bunny. So I kind of, I usually use just a peachy, pinky colour. Just do two big dots. You can't see the full cheeks. Because he's behind these strike. So I just do half circles and fill it around the edge of the egg. So next again, um, I'm just going to imagine the lights coming from this way. So anything then, this year, the... It'll be the opposite side that will be shaded. So the opposite, so I'll go from the left side as if the light is coming from the right. So the left side. Okay. 
energy on the left side of his face. So I just use a light gray. And then on the left side of his hand and his foot. And I'll also do a little bit to make the egg 3D-ish. Just do some shadow on the left side and all around the bottom. And then I will do, just use some shadow here, just for the, the ground that he's standing on. And I will just, for the next stage of shading, I usually just get a little bit of a darker, a darker grey and just really kind of skim the edges. And his hand. And just around his foot and around the egg. A little, just give a little bit more definition to, to the ground. And the very last part is just to get some really dark black paint or a black crayon or a colouring pencil and just define, just to give a little bit of a pop to his eyes and nose. And that is here. It's funny. So I'll oh, show the two of them there. So you have your Easter chick and your Easter bunny. And let me just, oh, sorry. Not sure if you see. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if the camera's working, sorry. Oh, hi, sorry. As I said, first live, so. <laughs> Um, so I hope you enjoyed doing some Easter illustrations. Um, thanks so much for everyone who tuned in, and I'd love to see some pictures. I'd love to see which ones pictures you were drawing. So um, I might come on again soon and do some more illustrations or story writing or things like that. So happy Easter, everyone, and I hope you have a lovely weekend. Thank you so much.